Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to get logos for debossed and embossed onto a SolidWorks file um, onto a compound surface. So, and this is going from a raster or like just an image that's not um, all set up for you. So let's say you found a raster image, pretend that there's a bunch of vector ones here. I'm going to right click on this, copy image, and then in Illustrator, oh, oops. I already ran through this, so let's pretend I didn't zoom out. Control V. I did Control C and then Control V because then I don't have to do any file management, which I really don't want to have to do. All right, then Image Trace, OK, and then Expand, and then so that makes it so everything's got its own path, but it's still one group, so you need to ungroup it, and then you can select parts of it. So. You always want to do this, move it over here, and see that white part? Delete that. Okay, so I built my SolidWorks file um, in millimeters. So if you hit click Control R, ruler shows up, right click up here. Then you can change it to inches, or you can change it to millimeters, which is what we want. So the other thing is, I know that I want this guy to be four millimeters, because that's the size. When I measured it, I didn't, I mean, this is a pretend one. So you're gonna make sure up here it's constraint, height, and width. And I can just type in four millimeters for the height. And then it's perfect. Okay, great. And then um, sometimes I will go in and figure out the center point and put that in here. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, this can be filled or it can be just like this. And a good thing to do if you are doing some crazy line art, um, then you can do outline. And if there's any like anchor points that you can't see normally, you'll be able to see them. You'll see all of the, any paths that are there, which is handy. You don't have to do that um, if it's simple like what we just did, um, or you can. Oh, it's not selected. Oh my god. Okay. Leave this blank. Okay, anyway, file, you got to the size you want. Pretty much, you can change the size in SolidWorks, but it's nice if you just do it here if you already know what it is. Export, export as. We're gonna do DXF. I already did it, so sketch logo. Yeah. So up here, you wanna make sure this is millimeters. Okay, so we're doing everything in millimeters. And now this is all set, it's there. So this is part of my handle for my scissors. So debossed is recessed in, and embossed is raised and pushed out. So we're gonna start with debossed because it'll be easier. So we're actually gonna go in from this surface. So to import a DXF or DWG, either one, you don't open a sketch. You're gonna select the surface that you want to bring it into, or the plane. You can do a plane or surface. Insert DXF. This guy. So this says millimeters and it's going to change. It keeps changing to inches, just to like freak me out. I'm going to ignore that. Yeah, see? Oh, I guess it just does, does it change. Whatever. This needs to be millimeters. Next, define sketch origin. I can't remember how I, how I built this. Whatever. I'm going to just click here so that the logo. Oh, yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. Apply, finish. Okay, so now my logo is here, but I can't do anything with it. I can't move it. I can't edit this. It's like really screwed up, but that's because SolidWorks changed it. So you can't just edit it if you bring it in for some reason, but if you just right click here and then make edit sketch, I don't know why they had to do that. So now that pencil, all that's not there. So now we can add the sketch. I'm not asking questions anymore. Okay, so if I were just to click this, everything gets screwed up, which is gonna drive you crazy. And if you always have to do the move thing in Sketch, that will also drive you crazy. Or, because we never want this change, make block. So now, this is a block. So I can do a couple things. I can copy this, and then do that. And then what's cool, so if you do a pattern, and then I, if I, 
double click on this guy. Come on. Alright, whatever. Edit block. There we go. Goodness. It should all change. Yeah. So they'll all change because they're all related. Okay, so we're going to um, delete this guy, delete this guy. Perfect. So what's cool about the block is if I did want to change the scale, I could do this over here and change it. And I could get like 1.33, like pretty specific. Keep it at 1, and then I can also change this. If you imported it in and it's um, brought in backwards, which happens, um, oops. you can mirror the block. Just don't do copy. And now it'll be going the other way. Like if you had the logo on this side, that's what you would do. But we're on this side, so I'm going to control Z. Okay, so that's that. Let's look at this normal two. So I'm gonna get this where I need it. So this you'll see is wrapping over some complex, more complex surfaces. So if I just did feature extrude, let's go 0.2 in. You'll see it's flat here, because this is a flat surface, but it doesn't keep a, the same consens consistency of depth. It doesn't wrap around. It's not just offset the whole depth in. And that's what we want. So we need, instead, we're going to do offset from surface. We're going to select Translate, reverse, there we go. So the translate will make it so that, see, it's wrapping around. So now it's going to be set in 2.2 millimeters from this surface all the way in. Offset from surface, blind just does that. Offset from surface, the surface and then it will go two millimeters in. So now if you measured this depth, this depth, it's all two millimeters. Super handy. Okay, so that's how you do. Oh, keep doing that. Um <laughs> the um deboss and have it be consistent. So now to do emboss, have it come out. What we're going to do is, if you start it from over here and then go out and do offset from surface, you'll be able to see where it started. So we need, I'll show you. Insert DXF. Sketch logo. Millimeters. Next. We'll just do it like this, see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So we can't edit it. So that's now you see why I always do it. Like the locate. Make edit sketch. Right clicked on there. Sketch, edit sketch. Oh. Where's the make block? Am I crazy? Oh, it's right there. Good grief. Make block. A little starburst A. Okay. There we go. Oh, so see? That's what I was talking about. I need to mirror this. because we're going to be coming out on this side. <laughs> Mirror. Not copy. 
speed. Perfect. Get it right where I want it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now feature extrude. So just going straight, even if we did offset from surface, same deal, translate surface, reverse offset, 0.2. See here, it's how it's in the back. That's problematic. We don't want that. So what we're going to do, delete that, yes. And then we're actually going to roll up the bar up above this. And then, let's see, we're going to do the trick where I'm going to click Control. I'm going to drag. It'll make a copy, a new plane. And then I just let it go right here because I know this is straight because that was extruded. So now I can roll this down. Right click on this, edit sketch plane, and move it to where it should be. So now that sketch is where it should be. Build stuff on the wrong sketch all the time. So now we can do extrude. Oh, whoops. Now, hold on. This is easier. Click on the sketch first. Extrude. Offset from surface. Translate surface. Reverse offset, because we're going out. There it is. <clears throat> Point two, it remembered. There. So now we've got debossed, recessed, embossed coming out. Very handy. Okay. So now there's another thing to know, and that is. Sometimes you have really crazy surfaces or you're not able to, you don't have like a flat plane to build off of, which happens a lot <clears throat> for me. So the way that I do this is actually a little bit different. So what I would do, if I were gonna um, emboss to something like this, but it was too, like it had more going on or whatever, I couldn't do it from the middle of the other side, surface, Offset surface, uh, we'll do 0.3 coming out, yeah. Fine. Okay. And then what we're going to do is sketch it, sketch. Also, going to be backwards. Discard. Sketch. Copy. I think this will work. Let's try it. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe it won't work. Um, before we do anything, let's see here. We're going to create a plane that's, it has to just be out so we can do this. All right. Control. Okay, sketch. Mm. All right, if you hit normal two twice, it'll flip it. I, I should have had the normal two. Oh, whatever. All right. center line, mirror, okay, so now what we're going to do is hide this real quick, I'm going to select the sketch and then feature extrude up to body, merge, yes, 
So now we've got this. And then I don't have to worry about what's going on in the back because it's just the front going in. And then surface bodies show. And then I can go to surfaces, cut with surface, and then make sure it's going out because it's cutting that way. Yep. And then if you right click on that, delete keep body, we want to delete. Don't need that surface anymore. So that way you can get some you can get some really complicated surfacing. And then like if you wanted this to fade out, like to you could make a custom surface where it's tangent down here and fades out, whatever. You can do all sorts of stuff. That surface can be any shape that you're cutting with, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna put that out there. So if it was like roundy, you could do that. You could do anything. Um anyway, and then you can do the same thing for um, extrude cut. You just offset the surfaces in. I'll show you. Okay. Hit feature. We're going to go in. Okay. And then, so now when you extrude cut, we're actually going to hide. How do I do this? Oh, yeah. Duh. Show. Okay. Feature. Extrude cut. Oh, I did it again. You have to have the, have the sketch selected first. Sorry, guys. Extrude cut. And then you're going to up to surface, open your tree up over here, and then you're going to select your surfaces that are on the inside, that offset that you can't see right now, and there it is. So you just want to always make sure to delete that surface right away. So this means like if that surface, if you wanted to change that consistency at all, you could do that. So that's how I usually do it. And for textures, so this is also how I would do textures. So if you had like a, a face that was tangent and then change depth, you offset the surface. Let me get a custom surface. Okay, that's long enough for this video. Hope that helps.